store owner in Ohio decided to deal with a suspect in a would-be robbery by himself, and it was caught on camera. It happened at a gas station near Cleveland. You can see a man pointing a gun at a clerk. Well, the store owner, who's standing next to the clerk, then pulls his own gun and starts chasing the man to the gas station's parking lot. The man ran away from the store owner, who followed him with his car. Police were able to catch up with the man. They arrested him without any problems. Surveillance cameras help police in Indiana identify and arrest three teenagers suspected of robbing a gun store. Police say the three young robbers, two 13-year-old twins and a 15-year-old boy, stole weapons from the store earlier this week. A television station showed the surveillance tapes and viewers called the gun store owner and the police who tracked down the three. Police say one of the 13-year-old robbers crashed a white truck before officers arrested him and his two friends. Well, they're fast, they're fearless, and they're about to get married. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's right, it's the annual wedding gown sale in Chicago. Every year, brides-to-be rush to the basement of Chicago's Feline's Bridal Store looking for wedding dresses at a bargain price. Store owners say they sold 25% more dresses at this year's sale than at last year's. Well, living green could also help you live longer. Canadian scientists have linked pesticides with prostate cancer. They say you can avoid pesticides by eating organic. You may also want to drink some vino. Researchers say red wine can cut your risk of getting prostate cancer by 48%. Almost one in every six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. However, scientists say four to seven glasses of red wine a week can help you worry just a little less. They were wrongfully accused of a lynching more than six decades ago, and now 28 soldiers finally got an official apology from the military. During World War II, Army leaders accused 28 soldiers of rioting and lynching an Italian war prisoner at a Seattle Army base. Now the Army finally admits that the soldiers were not responsible for the lynching. Army officials formally apologized to the soldiers' family members during a special ceremony in Seattle. Only two of the 28 soldiers are still alive. Australian investigators are looking into whether an oxygen tank exploded and caused a giant hole in the fuselage of a Qantas Airlines jet. The explosion on Friday ripped a part of the airplane's metal skin while the plane was still in the air. The pilots had to make an emergency landing in the Philippines. Aviation officials ordered Qantas to inspect every oxygen tank aboard its Boeing 747 fleet. They also ruled out the possibility that the event was security related. Well, don't you just hate losing your favorite belongings at airports like surfboards? Well, if you forget them at the Miami airport and left them unclaimed for more than 60 days, they'll be up for auction. Miami airport holds these auctions twice a year and puts up hundreds of unclaimed pieces of luggage, electronics, jewelry, and toys and computers for public bidding. 